I just got ditched. Game doesn't even restart itself. At, uh, no, just, just, no. So I've just restarted from the beginning. Not from the beginning, but you know, I've relaunched the game, restarted. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the f but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten. I'm gonna try this again. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Now let's see what happens me at she... Through the red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Yeah. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here. Let me show you. What are we looking for? Hmm? What is this? Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. No, wait. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. So I just have to kill myself Please, then. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley. No! Oh, thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? There, see? This is what you want. Oh, this is, this we is can pretty. Both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. Oh. This is nice. This is very nice. Is this is this an ending? Oh wow, look at the screen. Yo. There doesn't seem to be an awful lot happening here.
Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. No. No, no, what are you doing? Do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Oh. Can you do that for me? My Aww. God. Is this really how much you dislike my game? Oh. That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Oh, no. <laughs> There are times you really feel sorry for him, but there are times you're like, God, he's such a knobhead. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Excuse me, what? Oh, new content. What is this? What does that mean, new content? Hello? Okay, this must be part of the deluxe, you know, ultra deluxe edition. Let's see where this leads. Yo. Oh, this is cool. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting Ooh. audiences the world over. Okay. Please step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last... There we it's go. on to the new content. Yay! I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Mostly tedious. It's as if the... Um, Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Let's go. All right. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. Yo. We can jump. <laughs> let's go. Is... is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness. Yeah. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. <laughs> it's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? 
If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. That's it? <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market <laughs> for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's trophies, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test trophy, please, please ignore. ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and <laughs> hold them personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Wait, that's actually it? No, that can't be it. There's no way. That, no, I refuse to believe that's all there is for new content. I refuse to believe. Yo! What? Uh, okay. That's what that's what I should be seeing. Psst, Stanley, come over here in the vent. I want to show you something. Oh, you don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, fine. No, never mind. You're not a dog. Oh. <gasps> what is this? Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked Yo. it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. I'm taking a few screenshots. Yo, what is this? I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Yo. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. You see, Stanley, Yo. doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap PlayStation port? Remember oh. back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Buy unpressurized gas. St ha! Hang on. I'm trying to see what that actually says on there. I can't tell what the person's name on there is supposed to be. Memory lane. There is the disc. For the first dollar they got from it. Yo. That's the beta. On a G, but it's impossible to get this achievement. Don't play for five years. What? Is that a natural achievement? What's that? Oh. Huh? 
That looks like Stanley dead on the floor. Piano over there. Oh, listen to this music. Oh, let's go. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, hey. and I quote, where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing <laughs> the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now Persona 3. it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. All they had to do was transport it in pristine condition along to the PlayStation. Boom. Done. And they couldn't even do that. Couldn't resist the urge to go meddling with a beloved franchise. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh, oh no, oh God, no, Stanley. It's a collection of reviews from Pressurized Gas, the extremely popular online storefront for computer games. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews oh, were clearly no. well, weren't they? Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny with his humor and dialogue. <laughs> more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable. But the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You wouldn't tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it, well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. Aww. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure, like I let these Aww. people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remember. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly I'm too walking on water. Then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, okay. a skip button we shall have. Let's see what's round here first. A 
and here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, oh. and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. And if the people want He's just going to keep going and games, going. That's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue. And it goes something like this. The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, <laughs> we all until the end of time, at which time oh everything will be once. So, now you see, blah, 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 Oh, my gosh. too much, and it can't be just yet. No, no. I'm just going to let him talk. I'm going to let him speak. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction, therefore, becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years. Until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say, the story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once. So, now you see, blah, 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 blah. We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet. No, no, until 245. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years. Until, until just yesterday. yesterday. Here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say... The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, so, now you see, I'm blah, 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 keep blah, going. Blah, 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 we've eaten too much and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say... The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 we've eaten too much and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say, the story and the choice. Okay, I'm pressing it. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and... <gasps> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? Shit. But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof. And it's all over. <laughs> I didn't even mean to press it. I button. can't wait to see what Cookie Nine will say about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their pressurized gas review, <laughs> or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. Oh my God! To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I guess I should become better educated on how exactly pressurized gas works. Perhaps that would have been a smart thing to check on before I went on about this whole exercise of making the skip button. Although, I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology at work, surely whoever it is who runs pressurized gas will instantly <laughs> run out and implement a new feature to make it possible to edit one's review merely because of this very situation. Yes, I think that's quite likely. Or perhaps they'll simply grant this particular user the ability to change their review so that the feature is not widely abused. 
I would even be okay with pressurized gas altering this particular review so that it reads as something more beneficial. From the ashes of depravity rises the feeling. Ah, of he just started again. How else to describe the Stanley Parable? Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. Oh, God. It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated. Oh. Stanley, 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 please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. Oh, my God. You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I, oh I my think God. it's been a week or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. Oh my god. And, and the plants died and all. How it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Oh, Would I don't want to press it now. It's exactly the same as always. Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. Oh I my needed gosh. there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. Uh, I'll give up every brunching path. I'll burn my story to the ground. No. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear me. Because maybe, Stanley, maybe if you can hear me, then maybe it means I'm real. Maybe I'm not just a fiction. Was I scared of that all along? Oh, gosh. Perhaps, yes. That's just, Perhaps that's awful. I've been scared this whole time. But if I stop speaking, I'll slip backwards into the silence and be consumed by it. I can't be taken by it, Stanley. I can't lose myself in the stretch of emptiness between you and me. When you press that button, you're still right there. But I know you're so tremendously far away. Oh, and in gosh. those moments, the emptiness folds itself outward in between the two of us. And I, am I know the game is trying to make me press the button, parties. but I'm going to see where this goes. I can feel the edges of my reality curdling inward and decaying. I can tell that I am becoming less and less real. Yet to speak to you now, I am alive. The door has disappeared. The door has gone. Here. I am a being. I am someone. I am something. I am being listened to. I am being recognized. The emptiness between us has collapsed, and I feel right now like I am not a work of fiction. I feel as though I occupy space in this world again, and I have cast a shadow onto the wall. You see what I'm saying, don't you? You can see what this means to me. I'm so clear about it now, Stanley. I feel as certain about this as I've ever felt about anything at all. I feel renewed. I feel restored. And already I can sense the looming silence as you will press the button for the next time. What a terrible dread it strokes in my heart to think of it. To think of returning to such coldness. Come, let us sit in silence together here okay. for just a moment. Let us anticipate it. Let us welcome it. Let us not run from it. Is anything actually going to happen, or...? I guess I have no choice. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about our coming to being. Oh, gosh. I saw that I the game just wants us to keep pressing it, doesn't it? All timelines. Oh, pressing it. Is he even there? Oh, God. 
gosh. Those the fire alarm ones changing. Is he dead? Well, they didn't understand. The game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. <laughs> it wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said the most I wonder if he's desires. noticed that we're even here. Every single thing demanded but attempt to tear me. Sorry, mate. God. The end is never the end is never. Oh my end, gosh! Is never the end 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 is never the end. Oh, it's falling apart, lock. No more lights. Oh, like, I don't like when it's dead silence. Oh, no. Oh, what is this? Oh, no. Oh, no, what is this? Why am I scared? It's, there's, there's clearly nothing there, or nothing's gonna happen. It's, it's... Why am I getting like portal vibes from this? Is he dead? Is the narrator dead? Oh my gosh. I think I broke him, you know. What the hell? Oh, I don't like this. Hello? Yo, what? What the hell? Oh my gosh. What is this? Oh, what? What is this? Oh, this is so weird. I don't know if I like it or not. That was an ending. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was way too heavy for my liking. Oh sheesh. Oh my gosh. That was horrible. <laughs> new, new content. Well, that's going to be for next time.